Steve, first team all, all uh, NLL. That's pretty good. Have you ever done that before? I have no idea. <laughs> You're a modest guy. Did you feel like you had a uh, another good year personally? You've had a string of them, obviously. Yeah, I feel like I was uh, I was fairly solid back there, but um, numbers wise, we played like a different defense, so it was more packed in. So my numbers weren't as as high as they normally are, but that doesn't really reflect how I feel like I played. Um, I've had better numbers wise years that I think I didn't, but you know, I mean, they're just different. So yeah, I think I played okay, but still lots to work on. Steve, I know you didn't get a vote on the MVP award, which uh, could have been Dane Smith or Matt Vince. Uh, I would think it would be hard for you to pick one of those two. No, I know. Like I'm just, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to see Dane up there. Um, but it's pretty cool to see somebody other than a forward being nominated for it. So that's pretty cool. Matt, or, yeah, Steve, I assume the, uh, the bitterness of the end of the season uh, probably hasn't re been reduced much much. We talked to Dane and Chugger and it's the same sort of thing. It's like, you know, it's, it's almost difficult to get by it. Uh, you have similar emotions these days. Yeah. It's like, I'm waiting to like wake up from the nightmare. You know what I mean? It's, it doesn't feel real yet. It's almost like it, it hasn't sunk in. Um, you try to think about what it takes to win an NLL championship and you think you have it and you're so close and, and you don't, you don't come out on the right end of it. And you're just like questioning why, what could we have done better? And what's, what are the changes to make? And you're like, man, like I can't even put my finger on it. It's just it's surreal. It's weird. How do you see this team kind of moving forward into next season after, you know, I mean, when at the end of the day, like you guys still had a pretty good season tying a franchise record number of regular season wins. But I mean, how do you move forward, essentially? I think you try your best to just to keep the team together. I think that's going to be our biggest, um, our, our biggest like blockade, I guess, moving forward, like is going to be you know, young guys like Dehoka and all these are coming up and they're going to want to get paid and there's a salary cap and you have to start making decisions and um, you never know who they're going to keep around. You never know how many years Vino has left. You know, he's the goaltender of the year, but you, you still you don't know. Like the mental part of being a goalie is like, has to be draining on him, right? So it's like, yes, he's physically fit enough to do it, but how long will he want to do it for? And um yeah, so I think the, the key is to try to keep the group together. There's going to be expansion teams. There's going to be, you know, contract negotiations. There's going to be unrestricted free agencies. How do you keep the team together? Steve, Dane said he's been begging Matt to not think about retiring or doing anything silly like that. Do uh, you have similar thoughts? Yeah, there's sometimes it'll be like this, you know, second quarter and he'll be like <laughs> i need to retire and it's like dude it's four three what are you talking about they like well i shouldn't have let that one in and it's like that's irrelevant dude <laughs> like, yeah it's it's you know i don't think he's going to i think he knows um that you only kind of get one shot at life and and he's in a position to set himself up to be not only the best goalie to ever play but the best goalie that ever will play I know you'd prefer to, to win a war to some level, but you you played next to Mitch to snoot for quite a while. And he won the defender of the year award in the league. Uh, uh, he's come on pretty well in his career, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's um, it was cool to see him grow from the bandit player. He was to the player he was this year. Um, yeah. Stat, he was a stat. He had a good stat year, right? Like, you know, again, they play a pressure defense, so it's a little bit, um, easier to get those cause turnovers and, and those sort of stats. But uh, I don't know. I'm just, if I wasn't nominated, I think I'd be really happy for this new, but I think <laughs> I'm just, I think I'm moderately happy just because I was the one that lost to him. Right. But, uh, but I made sure I reached out and, and texted him congratulations and all that stuff. Cause I am, you know, I'm friends with them and I'm very happy for him and, and, and all that. So, so yeah. <laughs> 
a lot of people are talking about, you know, the development of the youth and some of your younger players and taking on these new roles. I mean, what are some of your expectations for some of these younger players that probably should and will take on new roles next season? Yeah, um, I expect De Hoka to have another good season. You know, he's he's came into the team as like as if he was there forever, right? And you kind of forget that it was his first season with the but in the NLL, right? And you're just you're looking at him like that. And and even guys like Sam LaRue, like you look, we protected him as a protected player and he only played what two or three games for us. And the rest of the time he was on the on the uh practice squad. And it's like, you know, you expect big things from these guys that are, you know, in really good shape and they're and they're coming up and um you just want to get reps and you want to get games with them, right? And at the same time we do have an older team. So it's like how how do you balance playing young guys that are getting used to like Sam LaRue, like a guy that's going to get used to a defense um, at the same time, making sure you're putting, putting the best team on the floor every single game. So yeah, it's uh, who are the, what are the young guys do we have that I might be missing? I don't know. Our team is, our team's, our team was built for, for a good season this year. We had the veteran leadership. We had the, the middle squad and then we did have some good rookies. So I don't know. Hopefully we keep us together. What's your summer look like, Steve? Uh, right now I'm trying to get work ahead at work so I can go play for Victoria. I'm going to go out west again. Um, they want me to get out there like ASAP, but I need to get some stuff done here. So it's tough, man. Like it's tough to balance work and, and lacrosse, right? And also, like, I'm kind of beat up, like your body's a little bit sore and you're just mentally, I'm mentally beat up where you're like, do I want to jump back into another season right now? <laughs> like, but I'm going to, because that's what we do. We only have so many years at it and that's who we are. So I'm going to go back out there as soon as I can and get playing. 